everyone, this is Bailey with Alley 55 Customs and today I'm going to show you how to successfully repair a hole and some dents in a, uh, in a car hood. So the person who previously had this car um, put these hood latches on it when it didn't need the hood latches so it has these unnecessary holes in it. So we're going to go ahead and patch that up today. So as you can see, it's not even right here where they had put the latch on so we're gonna have to even that out and also these little pinger dents right here not sure what caused it but we have to get those out as well as we are going to paint the hood later so we just want to get those out all right so we're gonna pop the hood really quickly and for the sake of the video i am just going to prop the hood up just enough so I can get my hand behind there. So what you're going to want to do is you want to take like a 2 by 4 or something solid and flat. Fortunately we just threw away most of our, our good pieces of wood. So I just taped together some little pieces of wood, just something to have a, uh, a back on it, a flat back to absorb the blow and help to flatten it. They're just gonna put it right behind there. And then I have a rubber mallet. You can use a metal one, but those usually tend to um, add too many dents in it to flatten it out. Like if you hit in the wrong spot, then you just have to fix another dent. So I just like using a rubber one, and you're just gonna go ahead and start hitting it. And then we're going to do the same thing with these ones up here. You just kind of have to feel your way around and kind of assume that you're there. And it's important to have the uh, little dents sticking up right here. You want to have them lower than the surface because we're going to bondo this. So it's going to make it flat. But if you have it higher than the surface, then it's going to, um, it's, when you shave it down, it's going to actually saw through the metal. And it's going to create another hole. So you just want to make sure this is flat so when you saw it, it'll just saw the bondo and not the... Uh, and not the actual metal on the hood. So for the little tiny stubborn ones, like I have right here, these are gonna go down with the rubber hammer. I'm just gonna use a normal hammer, but you have to be really careful with this. It's gonna to wanna to use a very corner edge. I do most of this by feel too. I mean, it, it might look good, but then once you feel it, it might, you know, be visibly above or something. So I'm just gonna go over this one one more time. And that feels pretty nice. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. And get this little spot one more time. Alright, feels perfect. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply this body patch. You can get this at your local auto parts store. Uh, I got it for $8. As you can see, it's made out of metal. It's kind of like a woven metal. It is adhesive, um, so it does just stick right on there. And I'm, it has the directions on the back, but I'm going to walk you through how to do it really quickly. So you're going to want to take 80 grit sandpaper or something very coarse and 
just sand off the surrounding area that you're going to ad adhere it to. And then you are going to just cut out the size you want, make sure it's clean and dry, and then just patch it on, like peel off the adhesive back, stick it on, and then we're gonna fill in the rest with, uh, with the Bondo or the body plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the, uh, the sander. We are going to put this on the inside of the hood today. We're not gonna put it on the outside. Since this is a very thin and flat surface, if you put it on the outside, you are going to see the texture of all the grates, the, the little, little texture there, on the outside after you bondo and paint, and you do not want to see that. And if you uh, put it on the outside and keep trying to cover it up, it's actually going to create like a bulge because it's going to take a lot of bondo to actually cover up the texture of this. So if you had like a big hole or something in the side of like your fender or uh, your door or something that's like within a dent, then you can put this on because then you can easily cover it over with Bondo and make the door look flat at the same time. So we are going to put it on the underside so you don't have to see the texture on the top. And we are going to um, use this electric sander today. It makes it a lot easier. It just catches the dust in this tub right here. Uh, they're not too expensive. I think uh, this one's like 40 bucks. And then we're using these sanding circles. We have 60 grit. And it's very important to wear a mask when you sand because um, if you don't have the tub like this, it's, uh, it's gonna put the dust into the air and you really don't wanna breathe that in. Even if you have the tub, I still recommend wearing like a respirator or some sort of mask in case it does escape through some of the holes or uh, flies into the air before it can suck up the dust. So since you guys can't really see underneath here with the um, angle that I'm showing you, I'm going to go ahead and sand it off really quickly and then I'm going to show you how to um, put on the patch after. Alright, so I just finished sanding this and I wiped it clean as well so it's nice and clean. So you just want a surface for the body patch to adhere to, so you just want to scuff it up a bit, just so it can really adhere to the um, to the metal when you put it on. You're going to want to cut a piece of the body patch a little bit bigger than the hole so it can reach those edges that you just sanded. So this is what they look like. comes in two pieces, and you can see the metal part is what is going to adhere on there and then there's just this paper back that you peel off so not gonna need much i'm just going to cut like that size right there should be good yeah it'll be perfect and then this is just going to hold the base of the um of the body plastic when you put it on because if you just put the body plastic on without a patch when it vibrates the uh, the body plastic will actually uh, crack or fall off and it'll ruin all of your hard work that you just did so you just peel off the back and just simply stick it on Push it, make sure it sticks. All right. So this is what it looks like when you have the patch on. I was able to slide it a little further um, behind here, so I cut the patch a little bit bigger and just slid it underneath. So when I put the bondo on, it'll hold it as a base, and it should work pretty well from here on out. So I'm going to show you how to apply the body plastic now. What we're going to do from here is we're going to take the same 60 grit sandpaper we're going to sand about two inches on the uh, outer sides of where you're going to bondo because when you uh, when you sand it down again you're going to want it to blend in nicely so you don't want to see this line of where you have the bondo so when you paint over it it'll blend in smoothly same thing on this one, we're going to sand about 
two inches to the outside of where we actually need the bondo. And if you have some like crap on here, stuck on, like, um, like this is hardened glue, you're just going to want to take like a little razor blade and very carefully um, hold it as flat as you can. Try to peel it off or use some lacquer thinner, try to wipe it off. You just don't want that to clog up your sander or the sandpaper that you're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead, scrape this off, sand two inches around it, and I'm going to uh, show you the end result there. All right, now we're on to the Bondo process, and this is the Bondo I'm using today. I'm doing the fast dry, it's going to dry within 15 minutes. And I got this, uh, this small jar, I got it for $12 at the local auto parts store. You can get the next size up, and that's going to be a quart, I think. Um, now it's like $18, and then you can get a gallon of it for $30. And I wouldn't recommend getting more than you need because once you open it, it reacts to the air and then it hardens, so it's hard to preser preserve. And you also have to keep in mind that when using this, if it's hotter outside, it's going to dry a lot faster, so you want to work a lot faster while putting it on. Otherwise, it's going to clump up and it's going to be hard to spread on evenly. So underneath the cap here, it gives you this cream hardener. This is the activator, and you do not need a lot of this. And I'll show you the ratio for this when, um, when I mix it. You also need a silicone um, spreader. You can get these at uh, uh, the auto parts store as well. It's like five bucks for three of them. So it's pretty cheap for that. And then you just need something to spread it on. You can use a piece of glass is the easiest, like a like a window pane or something, because it's a lot easier to clean once this hardens. I'm just going to use a piece of cardboard today because I'm not doing a big job. I'm just going to throw it out. And you can use lacquer thinner to um, clean it off after. That works a lot easier too. You have to do it when it's still kind of wet, otherwise it gets really hard to take off. I'm just going to open this up. And you don't want to keep the top off for too long, so it looks like. And then you're just going to use this and scoop out a good amount. Alright, so I have the Bondo on my piece of cardboard. It gets pretty messy, so I mean, I'd recommend wearing gloves. Some people have really bad allergic uh, chemical reactions to this, so I, I don't want anyone to experience that, so I'd recommend just wearing gloves. I want to make sure your cap's on uh, enough so it's sealed so it doesn't dry out. And we're going to take the cream hardener, so to this amount of Bondo, you're going to want... You don't want much. I mean, that's good. That might even be a little, little much. But you kind of want it just like a, a pinkish color. You don't want it really red. And then you're just gonna, uh, whew, gonna mix it up. Get pretty messy. And if you want to reuse, um something like if you want something reusable for this you can use like a piece of glass instead of a piece of cardboard um, like a window pane for a car or anything like that and then you can just use some some paint thinner some lacquer thinner and just clean it up after it's hard to clean up when it's when it hardens up so you want to get it before it's too hard And you don't really want to mix it around. You kind of want to smear it until it's thoroughly mixed. So you kind of want this. It's getting all over already. It's like pinkish color. That's kind of hard to see in there. It almost looks gray. But it's, it's like a lightish pink. And then once that's thoroughly mixed. It's going to take a nice little glob of it and just start to spread it on. You want to get it as flat as possible 
And you can always add more layers. And you want to try to avoid having any streak marks in it. And it's okay to have more Bondo on there than less because you can always sand it down if you have less. You're going to have to mix up more and apply more. So I'd recommend having more on there. Uh, just do it till it's nice and smooth and even. I want to blend it in to the edges as much as you can okay, on the edge of it so that it will um, blend in when you sand it. And if it starts to harden on you, don't try to... Um, don't try to force it on there because it will ruin the bondo and the progress you've already made. Because it'll get all these little hard pieces in there and then it'll scrape it and it'll just take out these big old chunks. You don't want that. So if it starts to harden, just stop right there. And then you can always go back and put more on. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back with another uh, like a light coat because I can tell I'm a little little under the amount that I need so I just need a little bit more I want to finish this other hole over here too and then we will sand it down and then we will see where we're at. So I'm going to let this dry. I think I might need to add a little more right here where that hole is because when you kind of push on it, it sinks through the, um, the mesh we have underneath the, there, the, uh, the adhesive. So I'm going to have to let it dry for a little bit and then add a little more in the middle here. But we are going to sand it down. Uh, I think this one should be good. We're going to sand it down, see how it looks, and I'll add some more if I need to add some more. Um, I'm going to finish up the other side really quickly, and then I'll show you it after it dries. So really quick, I just want to show you how easy the uh, paint thinner takes off the uh, Bondo. This stinks a lot, so it's very potent. But, you know, I have just a little bit on here. Let's rub it. And takes it right off. So I mean you have to do this before it hardens too much otherwise you have to scrape it off. Yeah, I mean we've used like drills and all this stuff and it's hard to get off. You just have to figure out a way just to break it into pieces because like cement when it dries. Alright so we're gonna add a little more Bondo just because I know I'm gonna have to add more here anyway. Um, you can see there's like a little indent where the hole was. So you just need to fill that in. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. And I don't need as much Bondo as I, as I did because we're just filling in the little gaps. And if it starts to harden on you, you don't want to keep going because if you do, it's going to add the like these crease marks. So it's going to clump up, get really hard, and then actually create lines and clump up really bad and that makes it really hard to work with. Um, it won't be very smooth anymore. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of scoop it and then scrape it and scoop it and scrape it. Until it's all pretty much mixed through all the way again. And the more you add the, the, uh, add the cream hardener, it's going to harden a lot faster. So 
I also want to keep that in mind. I'm kind of making a mess here, but I'm going to paint the hood in the next video. Um, so I'm going to sand it all down anyway. So if you're only going to paint a little part of uh, the vehicle you're working on, you're going to want to make sure it's a bit cleaner than what I'm doing because I have it all over the place. I'm just going to go back through and add it in the little spots that I need it. And if you have like an crease like this, you want to make sure you get it out because that is difficult to fix in the end. Because you really have to get in the crease with sandpaper and sand it out. So you just have to wipe it out when it's wet. Um, I'm going to go through uh, get the little spots I need and then I'm going to let it harden and then I'll be right back. Alright, so the Bondo is all dried. If it's like sticky at all, or if you can make an imprint, then it's not ready. And you want to make sure it is uh, completely dry, otherwise it will clog up your sander and it'll just uh, ruin the sandpaper. Even if it's brand new, it'll just clog it up and it's, it's just not a good scenario. But we are going to start sanding this down now. We are going to start with the 60 grit sandpaper. You're just going to want to make it as smooth as you can. Uh, and as flat as you can. We are also going to go over it um, with uh, wet and dry sandpaper when we sand it down to paint the hood. So I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do that after I sand the rest of it. Um, but you do want to go over it with a uh, smoother sandpaper. Um, usually something in like a 200 grit, 300 grit. So it'll give that, that nice smooth finish. So when you paint it, it'll look like the, the surface of the metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and start to sand it down. I'll show you the beginning of it and then I'll, I'll jump to the ending for you guys so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. And you always wanna wear a respirator when you do this because it does um, get into the air a bit. Even if you have like a fan going in the background, you just wanna uh, protect yourself and make sure you don't inhale all of this because this is some um, nasty stuff here if you inhale it, so it's going to be protected. You don't want to go halfway because if you do that then it's going to create like little lines so if you do a full strokes then it's going to have a nice smooth surface you just want to do it until the um, the edge is nice and smooth and it's as flat as you can get it they have these long um, strips that you can use and they're about a foot long and you just kind of scrape it they're flat so it guarantees that it's going to be flat in the end Here's the end result. I just wanted to show you this. I've only been sanding for about like 10 minutes. Doesn't take long with the uh, the electric sander. I can't stress enough to feel it when you're done. You're gonna have to go over it with a uh, smoother sandpaper, and it's gonna make it a lot smoother. Uh, so I use wet dry sandpaper, uh, at least 200 grit. Sand it down, and it'll be nice and smooth. 
And then you can prime it and paint it. Um, you're also going to want to sand down the other part of the hood if you're going to paint that too, just to get that clear coat off. Because um, yeah, this feels nice and smooth. Uh, I just need to go over with the sand, the uh, higher grit sandpaper. This one's all nice and smooth. This one I sanded down just a little too much right here so you can feel the high spot. Um, that's why it's so important to, to feel it because it looks like it's flat. But when you feel it, you can feel the high spot and the low spot right here. Just need to add a little more there and then it'll be, uh, it'll be perfect and then it'll be ready to paint. So, you know, this is why it's so important to wear the respirator. I, I don't want to forget to show you this before I end the video. See how messy it gets? This all gets flung up into the air. You don't want to breathe this in. So that's why it's so important to wear the respirator while you do this. Um, so you just want to keep yourself safe. You do not want to breathe this in. Um, and um, thank you so much for watching the video. I am going to do videos of how to um, paint the hood. I'm also going to paint the, uh, the fender and the bumper as well because I got uh, new ones for this car since they were so damaged. Uh, so, so please subscribe and I'll show you those and you can follow us on our YouTube channel uh, for all of our upcoming videos. We upload a lot of videos uh, weekly. So please subscribe. Please like the video if you liked it. We'd love to hear from you so please comment. And if you think someone else will benefit from this video, uh, please share as well. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as long as